Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jenkins tutorial, we are going to learn how to create your first job in Jenkins. Now, as I explained in the previous tutorial, that Jenkins job is nothing but the task usually that you do on your computer, say for example, to automate something or to perform the series of steps. Say for example, if I talk about this command prompt, right? So if I change the directory, so I fire the command, change directory C, and then I want to go to Jenkins tutorial right so even though I'm here I'm just showing you that this is one of the command right so if I have to go to this particular directory I'll open the command prompt and I'll then go to this directory and here if I have to create a particular folder or something right so say for example I want to create a directory within this particular folder so on the command prompt to create a directory the command is mkdir and specify the name of the directory okay so I'll simply just say say for example I want to create a directory with the name sample and the directory will be created and then if I want to see the list of files and directories within this particular folder in the Jenkins tutorial folder then dir is the command right so if I'll say dir you will see that it has created this sample directory right and if I want to create another directory sample one and do dir then it will create another one right so these are the series of steps that I performed for creating a directory into a particular folder from the command line now usually in IT and in software testing this whole process can be automated with the tools and Jenkins is one of the tool that you can easily create automate all of these activities say for example during your automation process you are performing or you want to execute certain batch files or shell files uh, shell scripts basically then you can utilize all of these capabilities to create the shell file and then execute through Jenkins and there are a lot of capabilities that are possible right so let's go ahead and try to replicate whatever we have done here as a new job in Jenkins so that everything gets performed automatically with the click of a button from Jenkins okay so we'll create a new item right so to create a new job we'll create a new item and I'll simply say just give a name and I'll say command prompt as the name and we'll create a freestyle project okay select freestyle project click OK and here in the general section just scroll down and we have to specify the build right so in the build if you'll select the drop down here right so at the top you do not need to worry about for this first job just do not need to worry about any of the details we'll go through this source code management and things like that later but for creating the first job we want to execute windows batch commands right so these are the windows batch commands if you are executing on the linux you select this execute shell right so there are different options invoke and or gradle script etc so we want to execute the windows batch commands and select that and then we can provide all the commands that we have triggered on the command prompt and this will be our first job right so let's quickly go ahead and see what all we have fired so we we want to change this to this particular directory right so we fired the command cd and then c jenkins tutorial right next line so any other command we want to create a directory with the name sample right so because sample is already there we'll change the name so we'll simply say jenkins dir okay and then we want to list all these directories right so whatever so if, say for example we have created the sample directory then we want to see whether it has been created successfully right so we want to store it in a particular in some file so that we can see what all directories are present in this jenkins tutorial so to export the result from the command line what you need to do is just when you are firing the command you can just give this greater than symbol which will basically redirect all the out output to a file right and I can specify some file some te text uh, text file here so I can say output dot txt right and then it will create a output dot dot txt file if I'll do dir now it will see you will see that it has created output dot txt file and this file will contain all the dir output so let's fire this command instead of just dir okay so that we can see the outcome okay so output dot txt is already already there so i'll say output one dot txt and these are some of the commands that i want to execute right with the jenkins job that we are creating once you are done click on save and once it has been saved we can simply go ahead and click on build now you will see that we are on the that particular job if we'll go to back to the dashboard you will see command prompt job is there right and if we click on that we can build it right so click on build and you'll see that it has started executing 
and execution has happened so if we click on that particular job go to the console output and you will see it has finished successfully right so what it does did same thing that we executed through the command line it has changed to this particular directory right you will see that it is initially when it opened command prompt it was at this particular location it changed the directory now it is in this particular directory and it is all logged here in the console output right it has created this directory and then uh, so it has run this particular command to move the output of the output one dot txt okay now let's go to the folder and see all the files right so this is the directory that has been created and output one dot txt has been created as well if you open that you will see it has saved all the output of the dir command into this particular txt file and all these folders and files these three are the folder and files that we have created manually okay so now with this particular job that we have created if we want to execute that series of steps we can easily do it with just a button of click and if there is something repetitive task that you guys do every day in your projects this is what you should be looking for automation is not only about selenium and ui automation any opportunity that is there within your project that you can automate using any of the tools available jenkins shell script or you know a batch file if you can create a batch file so any of those things that you do to expedite the overall testing process is automation selenium is just a ui automation or ui part of the automation activity that is being done into the it projects okay so this is very good example of how you can use jenkins to automate the whole process right or whole you know activity that usually you do manually so now the next thing is basically to see how we can parameterize our jobs and things like that so what i'll do is say for example here i want to specify or set the parameters and then create or based on the parameter say for example in the command prompt i can set the parameter right so set the variable basically so to set the variable you just need to provide say for example i want to set the variable first name and provide the value my first name there okay so you just say set and the variable name okay and the value all right so now the first name will hold my name this is what usually you do to create the variable now if i'll fire the command echo and the variable name okay so which is basically first name so percentage first name and percentage you will see that my name has been displayed right so this particular parameter or variable holds this value right whatever value we pass now in jenkins with the same job what we can do is we can basically go to go to the job here right and say for example let's let's take an example here now say in this particular example we want to instead of providing this hard coded you know like the output.txt or the folder name right we want to pass it through the variable how we can do it so we'll simply set the variable first so that we can do through the command prompt or we can set it in the jenkins so let's first understand through the command prompt and then we'll do it through the jenkins and within jenkins how you can configure okay so we'll go to the job again and we will configure so we'll change this particular job and as we set the variable there so now at the moment we are just directly passing this jenkins dir right so i want to set the variable so i'll say directory is equal to and the name of the directory okay so i'll say jenkins one and now when when i say mkdir i will just pass the variable name right so i'll simply percentage followed by the variable and followed by the percentage similarly you can define a variable for this output file as well so i can say set output file as variable name and the variable or the file name we can say output two this time okay and here instead of this output one we can replace it with percentage output hyphen file which is basically this variable that holds this output two dot txt and it should basically create the directory with the name jenkins one and the file 
of all the directory outputs as the output 2.txt okay so apply and save and let's build it again okay so we'll build now we'll go to the results console output it has been successful because you can see that it is green and it is success and it has created output 2.txt right and it has created jenkins 1 right which is basically this particular directory in the mkdir we passed the directory right so we passed percentage directory percentage and it has replaced with the value that is being held in that particular variable okay so let's go to the folder and see that jenkins 1 fo folder is created and output 2.txt has been created as well with all the details right so this is how you will use the variables within the script right so this is still in the script now in jenkins we haven't configured these variables now why i showed you this because say for example let's let's edit it okay so let's configure so here now if i want to change this directory to something else so i have to again come here and change this whole script or the commands that i have provided here which is not a good approach right so we can define the variable at a different level within jenkins and in the next tutorial i'll show you what all different variables can be defined or parameters that can be defined and how you can utilize those within jenkins scripts so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching